So hey everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. Or if you're new here then hello or welcome. My name is Luna Rose because I am the flower that blooms at night and for today's video we are just gonna do a full-on chit chat get ready with me life update on just everything that's been going on with me, everything that's kind of been going on in life and why I've not been posting as much. Trigger warning, we're going to be talking about death of a family member. I will be crying in this video and we're going to be talking about depression and just some less than um, fun topics, I guess. I will leave some timestamps down below and I will end this video with some more uplifting news. I will also leave a little PayPal donation thing down below just if you feel like helping me out or help to contribute to me still being able to create content and things going on in life, I will leave that down below. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? <sighs> Hello, everybody. Yes, I look a complete state. I need to shave. I just, I feel like just getting in drag and just making myself look pretty today. So I figured we could just do a full on like chit chat life update. I can tell you everything that's been going on. We're going to start with some of the more, I guess, sad and depressing kind of things. And then we can finish with some more like happy, uplifting things to end off the video. I will leave timestamps down below. I will link all of the products that I use in today's video. And <sighs> we're just going to have a good chat as friends. And I can just tell you everything that's been going on. I did just put on some like eyebrow transfer stickers. So they're not perfect. They're not the greatest. But honestly, I just didn't feel like doing brows today. So um, I'm just going to pop on some of my P. Louise eye base kind of under the brows and to kind of blank out the eyelid kind of area to go in with eyeshadows. But um, <sighs> yeah, let's discuss with let's <laughs> my words are all over the place let's start with kind of just what's been going on kind of where i've been and like the i guess like the main meat of like what's been happening with me so um i'm gonna try my best to not get emotional throughout this video i have been kind of in a weird like emotional wreck over the last that was grinder shh i've kind of been in a weird like emotional wreck over the last like couple of weeks and it all kind of stems from, um, my granddad. So, um, actually, let me just, like, blend out this base and then we can discuss it since I can't concentrate carving out a brow while we're discussing what we need to discuss. <sighs> okay, so, um, kind of where I've been, what's been going on, and kind of the meat of this video kind of stems from, and it sounds like I'm blaming him, but I'm really not, is what's been going on with my granddad and just kind of... Honestly, my granddad's health and life. So around a month ago now, my granddad got rushed to hospital and he was basically coughing and spluttering like a couple of days beforehand. I saw him like just before he went into hospital, me and mum went to go see him and he was like a little off. You could tell he was like a little weak and we went to go see him a few days before this because he fell over in his garage and he was hurt and we just kind of wanted to go see him, check, make sure everything's like fine with him and things were kind of going like right like I like to go check in with him at least once a month so pretty much um he ended up in hospital and my granddad has a little dachshund called Jerry who is 10 years old but he is um pretty much for the full 10 years my granddad's had him he's never had a day where he's not like with my granddad and Jerry isn't the best with my dog Luna who is a Siberian husky so at my parents house we have my dog so I have my house now where I am where I film where I sleep where I live you know, do everything. And like five houses down is my parents' house where my husky is. So she can kind of have a garden and kind of do her own thing and kind of have the space to do it. And then we also have Mabel, who is a two-year-old Labradoodle. So them two are there all the time. They chill. They love their life there. It's so much easier than kind of having Luna here and me not having like a garden or anything. And we also have six cats. Jerry likes to fight with Luna and Luna is like 10 times his size. She will absolutely demolish him and he won't even like touch her ankles that kind of thing and six cats isn't the greatest because jerry likes to chase and then if he did catch him he would kill one of the cats so pretty much while my granddad's in hospital we had jerry around like a month ago and we was all just like looking after him so my granddad didn't have to worry but pretty much then whenever my parents need to go out or need to go and see my granddad in hospital we can't leave jerry home alone 
with them just in case something happens. I mean, now he's kind of got used to them a little bit more, but it's kind of one of those things of we didn't really want to like leave him home with the others just in case something does happen, but yeah. As a side note, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics and Doja Cat eyeshadow palette since I picked this up in the Beauty Bay sale recently when I bought the Beauty Bay Botanical palette for literally only 20 quid, and honestly when I first saw this palette, I was a little like, um, it seems fine, but when I look at this in like quads, like little four, like if you just like take like the top four corners in this colour, you have like a perfect mint colour story. And then if you like do it in like little quads, like you have like a perfect purple colour story. I thought it was a really stunning palette, so I picked up that as well as the blush thing. So if you're wondering what I'm using, this palette, I will leave it linked down below. But pretty much we have Jerry staying at our, like, I say our house, my parents' house. So I go around and while they're out visiting my granddad or doing whatever, I'm, you know, looking after Jerry, looking after the pets, making sure nobody fights, taking them for walks, doing all that kind of good stuff. And obviously while I am there and looking after the dog, I can't really do too much to be filming or editing. Like I only have my one old computer that is still very much struggling to survive while I'm editing, but that's kind of the only thing I have to edit on. So if I'm at my parents' house, I'm obviously not filming, and I also don't have, like, the ability to edit. One day, I want to buy, like, a decent laptop so I can take that round and, like, edit on my laptop, but that is way outside of my budget currently. But, um, pretty much I've been there, like, I'm talking around a month ago now, for those, like, few days while my granddad was in hospital, and I was, like, pets sitting and just kind of making sure things were going okay at home, so that kind of through a like spanner in the works of what my plan was, of what my upload schedule was going to be, and just kind of the time I had available to me was, um, you know, to prioritise my family, to prioritise like helping out my family and, you know, they come first. Rather than me just sitting in a room playing with makeup and doing that, I can, you know, help out and just kind of put people's minds at ease by being the pet sitter and I am always like the animal person like since I was a kid I worked in animal surgery for six years like animals are just kind of my life I don't mind going around and pet sitting walking the dogs like kind of taking that role so pretty much that was around a month ago my granddad was in hospital and he was in for I think three days and then they discharged him they said it was just a chest infection and he was discharged with some antibiotics so I think it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then he came out on the Wednesday night time at like 7 or 8 p.m. So anyway, um, I'm like, okay, cool, great, that's all sorted. He's getting his antibiotics, he fell over and like bruised himself, but he's fine, nothing was broken. They did like an x-ray scan and just said, oh girl, it's fine, it's just a little um, fall. He had like a chest infection, that kind of thing. <sighs> One second, I need a drink. Love that sound. This is also a really nice palette because you have a matte white as well as like loads of colours to play with along with like a deep like black and grey. So um, yeah, I'm just going to do like a basic neutral eye. You guys saw what it looks like in the intro of this video, but I just want to play with makeup and just <sighs> get a load of my mind. Okay, so we get discharged from hospital between like 7 and 8 p.m. ish roughly on a Wednesday after we've been pets in and my mum picks up Jerry and drives him back to my granddad's house. So he's at my granddad since literally the three days my granddad was in hospital, all he was saying was like, how's Jerry doing? What's he doing? Like my granddad has spent 10 years with his dog every single day. Like they are never apart. So my mum was like, okay, I'll drive Jerry back to his. I'll make sure the medication is all lined up since my granddad has a carer that sees him every morning, like 7 a.m., 8 a.m., really early in the morning each day to make sure he's, um, you know, taking his medication, he's doing fine since my granddad's diabetic. He has probably like 20 plus tablets that he has to take every day for like a multitude of other health conditions. And, you know, he just got discharged from hospital. So it was kind of like, mom can go over, check, make sure that my granddad's got the right like medication. It's all lined up and everything's kind of fine on his end. The ambulance dropped him off at his house and then mom drove Jerry back to my granddad to leave him there to be like, here you go, here's your dog, that kind of thing. So anyway, um, I'm back at my house. I think everything's like hunky-dory. I rewrite up like a filming schedule of like, okay, I can film this, I can edit this, I can kind of play catch up on this. I'll rearrange a few of different like series, but we've kind of got then everything kind of where it needs to be and everything's kind of back to normal-ish in my brain. So I go around in the morning to my parents' house after writing up like my routine of everything that's gonna happen since I take 
both Luna and Mabel for like separate walks each morning, roughly for around like an hour each, just so I'm like, I'm on like a health journey. I want to get back to being slimmer and that's just kind of one of those things that I can do that's good for the dogs, it's good for me, it helps me like start a routine and kind of wake up in the morning in a healthy way while I drink my coffee or an energy drink on a dog walk and it kind of gets me up out the house active and I can kind of plan out what I'm going to be filming or editing that day while I'm on a dog walk. So anyway, I go around to my parents' house, I think it's around like half seven in the morning and nobody was there. I like unlocked the door, went in, both the dogs came running to see me, but my mum wasn't there and my dad wasn't there. My dad had knee surgery, which we'll get in, well, we might as well do my little dad sidetrack mission, side mission now. So my dad had his knee surgery, I've spoke about it in the last like few kind of life updates and this happened like six, five weeks ago, six weeks ago now. It's been like a couple of weeks, but just before like my granddad went in hospital, he, my dad came out and it was kind of all like oh, within a few like, week or like a few days of each other it was like my dad's coming out of hospital my granddad went in hospital and just there was a lot of like stuff going on so anyway um i go around and nobody's there the dogs are there but my mum and dad aren't and in my mind i was like oh they're probably just having a lie in went upstairs nope nobody's in the house i'm like where the fuck is everyone like i want to walk the dogs but where are they? Like, it's early in the morning. Why are they already, like, not at home? And so I'm like, okay, I'll check my phone. And I've got, like, no messages, no WhatsApps, no nothing. So I text my mum and I was like, um, where the fuck are you? Like, I'm gonna walk the dogs, but where are you two? There's nobody at home. I've come around to, like, get the dogs, but where are you two? And pretty much, um, they was at hospital with my granddad because my granddad, pretty much when the carer came to see him, I think she was early or he might have called the ambulance. I'm not really sure how it all happened. It all happened kind of in the middle of the night or like very early on was my granddad got readmitted and like rushed back to hospital. I think an ambulance came to pick him up because he was having some kind of issue or I don't really know how it all happened. Everything's kind of a little hazy in how it was like fed to my parents that they then like told the story to me. But pretty much um, either the hospital rang and rushed him in or the carer, something happened. Basically my granddad ended up re-rushed to hospital. So I was like, well, what the fuck? He came out at like 7 p.m. And by 7 a.m. in the morning, he's already back in hospital. What, what the fuck is like going on? I just came around to walk the dogs. I thought things were kind of going back to normal and kind of, you know, sorting themselves out. I didn't realize more stuff was about to be happening or like more stuff was kind of going on with kind of my granddad so um so um yeah i'm trying not to get like so this happened on like thursday morning like early hours of the morning and my granddad ended up getting rushed back into hospital after he just got discharged for a chest infection and they said we've looked at your x-rays again you have a collapsed lung as well as a broken rib so my granddad fell like just before he went into hospital, said he was like struggling to breathe and he ended up going into hospital so they could like check him all out and they kept him in for a few days and was like, oh girl, it's a chest infection. We've done an x-ray. You just have a chest infection. You've got some bruising since. My granddad weighs six stone. Well, actually under six stone now. He weighs nearly five stone now currently and my granddad is the same height as me. He is five foot eight, but he's also nearly 90, but under six stone for somebody five foot eight is like deathly thin like he he is literally a full-on skeleton so um when he fell over obviously he must have um broke a rib that then punctured his lung but what i don't get and i'm not like attacking doctors since i know it's obviously not like 100 percent always whatever they did an x-ray on him on like the first monday he went in and then they discharged him on wednesday night to say chest infection antibiotics they then take him back into hospital on the Thursday morning to say he has a punctured lung as well as a broken rib. Do not know how that kind of thing occurs or how they didn't pick it up on the x-ray they did on Monday and just wrote it off as a chest infection and discharge a patient with a punctured lung, a fully collapsed, like it was fully collapsed, like not just punctured, collapsed lung and a broken rib. So anyway, um, he was back in hospital and... Um, my parents were like, you need to come pet sit. We're going to bring Jerry back to our house. You need to stay and, like, help look after and, like, pet sit. Make sure everything's fine. And then they're going back to hospital. So, like, my whole plans of getting content together and just kind of what I did the night before was all kind of gone to shit. My dad is still, well, at this point, this was still, like, 
three and a half weeks ago now at this point, was still recovering from a knee replacement. So he was barely walking on crutches, waiting with my granddad in hospital. Mum dropped Jerry off back with me at their house. So it was kind of like, right, okay, for the next few days, that's fine. I will not film. I will just kind of, you know, sort out work emails, that kind of thing. I think I put an update on YouTube as well as like OnlyFans at this point to be like, sorry, things might be a little bit all over because I don't know what days I can film. I don't know when, you know, I'm needed because obviously my parents want to be with my granddad while he's in hospital, but then the dogs are at our house and we don't want to start fighting or like something else happen because that's the last thing we need while this is all going on. So pretty much it was kind of just... Everything seemed to happen at once. It was like, all stations go, what the fuck is happening? Um, he now has a collapsed lung. And mum and dad went to go see him and there was like, he looks, he looks terrible. He looks really sick. Like they saw him obviously the few days before and I saw him just before he went into hospital. There was like, he looks very, very sick. Like bad level sick. And pretty much he was in hospital, they was going to see him like every single day, or at least my mum was seeing him every day, dad was staying home some days, I could then get some stuff done at mine, which you will see in a video that I can hopefully do this week of just kind of what's been going on since I've had my own um, things that I've been doing, which you'll see in the next like, couple of days hopefully. But um, yeah, it was kind of a little like weird, a little touch and go, they couldn't reinflate his lung because he's nearly 90, well he's 89 so he's nearly 90 and he literally only weighs like six stone. It was kind of one of those things of they can't reinflate his lung or they can't really like put a tube in, they can't really like ventilate him properly because he's very frail, it will do kind of more harm than good. They're just going to monitor him, keep him on the ward and they'll keep us updated. So my granddad was in hospital for two and a bit weeks so this now leads to around like a week ago. He was still in hospital, so that's pretty much why I wasn't filming or editing or doing anything, is because I was just staying at home, making sure things were fine, and honestly, not really knowing how things were going to go, how... what was going to happen. So... I was like, you know what, okay, I'll just take a little mini break, I kind of need a break, I'm getting in my head, I'm getting depressed, I'm just... There's a lot going on that, okay, fine, well, we'll have like a mini break and we'll just make sure things are fine before I'm like ready to come back and film and create content and kind of have time to do that. So pretty much my dad was still recovering, my granddad was in hospital. He then got discharged a week ago? Yeah, around a week ago. It's really confusing in my head to try and do it. I'm literally filming this at 3.53 a.m. because I am that like in my head and things are all over the place just with life and like what's going on. But pretty much, um, he got discharged from hospital and I was like, yep, he should be fine. We've got some extra medication. Um, my granddad didn't want to stay in hospital. It was kind of like they was going to keep him in and keep him monitored, making sure he was eating since my granddad has a throat condition where essentially he can't swallow or breathe properly. So he had a collapsed lung. So you're down to like half the amount of like lung capacity and breathability plus the throat condition that he has. So he's around like a quarter breathability to what he could be. They can't ventilate. They can't like re... Basically send him for surgery. They can't re-pump up his lung properly because it will just damage him. So pretty much he was in hospital for around like two weeks. I feel like I'm explaining this really badly, but I'm trying to like not get emotional as well as try and create some kind of semi cute looking smoky eye but pretty much he was in hospital there was a lot of stuff going on he got discharged about a week ago now and um he wasn't great when he got discharged they basically said to us um would you like him to go to a hospice home where he can live out his final days or would he like to go back to his house he was very insistent he wanted to go back to his house he wanted jerry to be there So we was like, okay, he can come back to his house and spend his last like few days to a week or whatever at his house since that's what he wants. I think it would be better for us and like we could kind of be there with him easier. So last week we went to my granddad's house. We moved his double bed upstairs, downstairs since he was, he's not strong enough to go upstairs. So it was kind of like a, we'll move him downstairs. We'll keep everything downstairs. He's going to have carers three times a day and... It was pretty much like we'll discharge him for like end of life care at home. 
So anyway, my mum was like, I'll stay at Grandad's with Jerry. So it's kind of like a pressure kind of off me. I can get back to filming and creating content since this makeup makes me very happy. Doing drag makes me happy. Filming, editing makes me very happy. So when I can't, and there's already things going on, I just start to go down the like deep, deep rabbit hole of things are not going great, life is not going great, I'm not doing great, everything's getting worse. So anyway, around a week ago, um, that was kind of what we decided, that was kind of what the routine was going to be, he is, he was going to come out of hospital and to kind of do end of life care at home and That was kind of what was happening for a couple of days. So anyway, fast forward like three or four days, around two days ago now in real life, like three days ago probably from when you're watching this, if I get my head together and manage to post it tonight. And um, mum and dad were at his house. I was pet sitting, but Jerry was at theirs with them, but I was going around to walk the dogs and pet sit since there was just a lot of shit going on and I had some parcels getting delivered. So I was like, I'm just, I, I can't concentrate on filming right now when all this is going on. So anyway, I get a phone call from mum to say he's really not good. Um, we're bringing Jerry back. My granddad's going back into hospital because he just, he started coughing and spluttering, like coughing up blood and they had to call an ambulance, take him back into hospital. And that is currently where he is. They've basically um, kind of did the whole talk with my mum of, do you want to do a DNR? Do you not resuscitate? Does he have things in place? Like a will, all that kind of stuff, because it's not looking too great, he's not sounding too great. Um, they suspect that he could have had a stroke, or potentially when he was coughing and spluttering, he might have like further damaged the lung or the other lungs, since it's not looking good, to say the very least. So my granddad, currently at time of filming, is in hospital. They said he's not going to come out of hospital because he's he's only got a few days left, essentially. So we're now just in that weird, like, limbo moment of... We don't really know what's happening. He's not going to come back out of hospital. He's not going to, like, recover. <sighs> this, is exactly, this is why I'm glad I started doing my eye makeup first and not doing my base makeup, because I knew I'd ruin it. So he's not going to come out of hospital. Oh, fucking hell. And at some, at some point this week, we're going to get that call to say he's, he's no longer with us. And it's... And it's just kind of one of those life moments where... I don't know what's going on. And I'm trying to be strong and be there for my family. But I just don't know what to do. It's like you're waiting for that call. You're waiting to be told he's no longer here and he's no longer with us. And last, well, a few hours ago now, I'm so all over the place with like timing. A few hours ago he called and he was like, hi, how's things? And like checking in from the hospital, but you can tell he's, he's really not doing good. He can barely speak. Like you, trying to work out what he's saying because again they suspected he could have had a stroke when this happened so he already can't breathe and like he's struggling to talk anyway but that was probably the the last time that I'll talk to him and I was like I can't sleep I keep overthinking and just I was like I don't know I just I want to play with makeup and just try and do something where I feel not me. 
it's not that I want to play with makeup, just do like a chit chat kind of life update and just <sighs> kind of update you guys on what's been going on since I don't necessarily like live my life in like the public eye, but people have like messaged and like tried to check in and just be like, girl, where are you? We've missed your videos, we've missed your content, what's been going on? And honestly, I don't know. Like the last couple of weeks has just been scary and it was already kind of stressful with my dad getting a knee replacement and girl grinder again uh, dad getting his knee replacement not being able to walk and seeing kind of my dad in that vulnerable position that i've not really ever seen him in and then now this news with granddad like it was shocking to know that he's still with us he's that level bad and i probably know when i go around to my parents in a few hours they're gonna say, yeah, they got the call from the hospital because they said, leave your phone on, we'll call you if anything, if it happens, basically, tonight. And he's not coming out of hospital. Like, that's, that's it. It's now just the waiting game to be told. It's just, it's weird. It's, my granddad's my last, like, living older generation relative like my grandma passed away like six years ago on my dad's side both my um nana and grandpa passed away three four years ago like around the pandemic time which was like its whole ordeal as it is but <sighs> yeah there's just it's just that horrible time of it's only a few days or like We've been getting or like looking into kind of funeral costs and sorting all that out and just <sighs> life is just I feel like things are fine. I feel like I get myself together and then everything seems to happen all at once and I don't know, it's just a very shitty situation of it was very back and forth and then when he came out of the hospital there was like this kind of end of life care and was kind of expecting like not the greatest news and then like <sighs> I don't know it's just it's a very touch and go situation of they said it won't be longer than a week kind of thing of he can't have any solid foods he has a broken rib, a fully collapsed lung, and a suspected stroke. Like, it's kind of like the, there's not much you can physically do with science to ever make it better, or to make him recover. It's now just make the last few days more comfortable. So, yeah, we have Jerry back at my parents' house, so I'm going around at, like, half eight in the morning to go and pet sit, and my parents are going to go see him again in hospital if he's still with us and uh, yeah that that's why i've not really been filming or posting or just being active on social media because i have not felt like it like i have it's just been rough it's been tough and <laughs> rough and tough it's been rough and tough and just I don't know what else to say. That, that's where I've been, what's been going on, what's been getting me down and just, I was like, I can't sleep. Let's just play with, was I using this brush? Yes. Just play with some makeup and just try and get out of my like head a little bit and just do what I enjoy, which is drag and makeup. Give you guys an update. Give me something to edit and just try and keep myself kind of distracted a little bit i guess but um yeah things have been shitty the last like few weeks with just like i just i don't know it's kind of one of those things of <sighs> i don't know but um yeah that is the first kind of update the second update is my dad had his knee replacement and 
he's had it done like five, six weeks now. So he's kind of back to walking and he still has one crutch. He's not on two crutches anymore. He just has one. So my dad's starting to be able to kind of move around and do a little bit more again, which is kind of just been one of those nicer things of um, at least he is kind of recovering and doing better. But yeah, he must have had it done like five weeks ago and granted went into hospital like four weeks ago. That week in between, my dad was obviously on morphine and a bunch of like pain relief and he was like throwing up daily. Plus he couldn't walk. So it's just kind of been a lot of things of close family health issues. Like over the last two and a half, nearly three years, the only people that I've seen continuously are my parents pretty much daily and then my granddad like once a month minimum. So to have two out of like the three people in my life that I see all the time really struggling, one potentially even while I'm filming this video, not with us anymore, has just been a very weird and rough situation and <sighs> that is how I feel. On to a little bit more uplifting of an update but I'm just going to quickly do a little liner moment. Okay, this makeup look is not going to be revolutionary. I hope it all comes together once I've shaved and done my base makeup. But the other update, I figured I'll just tell you now before I'm trying to do my eye and shave and just mess everything up, is I'll just do the other update now. Is something more uplifting since I have had time to really, I guess in some regards, overthink. But also to try and distract my brain the best that I can, which is by channeling my brain into something more productive and... I've had the time to sit and really consider what I want for my drag, what I want for my channel, and what kind of commitments and things can I change to make both of those things better. So my plan is to just kind of go balls to the wall the rest of this year and try and film six days a week, meaning you guys will get videos like seven days a week. Hopefully if, th if things all like work out and just keep myself very preoccupied with content creation and creating content across all of my social media platforms. So my plan is to film pretty much from Saturday to Thursday every single week and then take Friday off is like my current plan. And I know six days a week sounds like a lot of like filming and editing, but if I, I kind of just need something. Like I genuinely need something to kind of like numb the pain and keep my brain busy is just channel into content creation and just <sighs> go all out. So if you guys have any content suggestions or what you want to see, let me know. I've actually, wait, let me grab it. Literally, I have been writing like a mad woman. I have written down what I want to do every single day from now until literally the end of the year in terms of filming, editing, uploading, what things I want to do. I already have all of my December content written out. I have my Halloween series written out. I have what I want to do for January. Look, Halloween series already done and written. We have January at some point written. I have all of my themes written for what I want to do and content wise. I have all of these different video ideas since kind of the way I want to, oh my God, create content going forward is, for example, I have like the Doja Cat eyeshadow palette. I want to take this and create like a certain look using this palette as the focus, maybe trying out a bunch of different makeup products and kind of do like a mini review and tutorial based around eyeshadow palettes and do that kind of for each palette within my collection. So I've already gone through, I've written up, I have hundreds of eyeshadow palettes to say the very least, written up and kind of assigned looks to each of the eyeshadow palettes. So then each day when it comes to filming, my plan is to get up, walk both the dogs, come back, sit in the film and then edit in the afternoon. So I kind of have kind of like contained days of content of which then you guys will see it hopefully you know if I'm filming and editing six days a week there will be seven days a week of content from now until the end of this year potentially with double uploads on some days since like today I'm going to do this I'm going to do a slightly different makeup look and film something else and so I can kind of get multiple videos done each day but my theory and plan is kind of do each look based around a certain eyeshadow palette do swatches and do like a mini review again potentially try out new makeup products and just kind of throw everything at the wall in terms of content creation with the like priority and majority of content on my YouTube being to do with um, makeup tutorials since that's what you guys seem to enjoy and don't worry I'll be mixing in like a bunch of story times and like clothing hauls, breastplate reviews, other stuff but that's just kind of what my plan is now and that's kind of how I want to 
I guess do my channel going forward is majority makeup content since I love makeup, I love drag and the reason why I enjoy drag or get into drag is because my passion for makeup and just honestly I need a distraction, I need something to keep my brain busy and just kind of go all out with so um yeah I kind of want to finish this video with something a little bit more fun and maybe like uplifting is just expect a lot of content since I am back now and Obviously, there's going to be a lot of shit going on this week. We are going to know my granddad's fate at some day this week. And then, obviously, there's funeral and all that kind of stuff. But I just, I need to keep myself busy with content. So, please be gentle with me. Please be nice to me in future videos and the future comment sections. Since I am channeling all of my sadness into something creative and just keeping myself busy with content and the amount of content that I've got coming so um yeah that kind of the main updates is we're gonna be granddadless by the end of this week my dad is starting to walk again and had his knee surgery and I am channeling every ounce of me into content creation and just keeping myself busy and I don't just mean on YouTube either like on OnlyFans as well as TikTok as well as Instagram. I just need to I need to like force myself into this routine and habit of up walk the dogs. Film for like five, six hours in that day, two, three hours of editing, enjoy the nighttime and then on the Fridays make sure everything's scheduled for the week. Like I feel like once I get the routine going and I'm ahead on content and ahead on my posting schedules, everything then is like good. Like I used to work 60 hour work weeks in Cambridge and still upload at least once a week and edit and do extra stuff on the top of that whilst also working full time so now I just need to get into that mindset of this is a job this is my career this is my only money source and money income I need to be taking it seriously so um yeah that's kind of the life depressing updates of what's going on but I'm trying to channel it I'm trying to do something I guess positive from what's been going on negatively and just again literally like I have like can you see all of the days of the year planned out written down I have all of the January uploads December uploads we have literally a whole bunch of just I literally have a full list of unused like Halloween looks like I have gone very all out with this like little content schedule where's my January did I already rip it out I might have already ripped out January because that's December where the f is it oh see look we already have camera focus camera focus January 2025 of the uploads already written and turned kind of together so um <sighs> yeah I've also been doing some other things behind the scenes which we'll hopefully see if not tomorrow the day after of just when I'm stressed I like to clean and organize and try and get my head into a different like headspace so again part of it was writing down the routine and keeping myself busy that way and yes it's going to be stressful yes there's a lot of work to it but I feel like I almost need to go like autopilot turn off like the emotional mode and just go into work mode concentrate on that and you'll see um what I can see to the side of me in the next couple of days it is chaotic I also managed to break my knuckle so I'm not flipping you off but this finger I managed to break which you will see in that video so um well it's not actually broken I can bend it but for a good few days it was pretty much broken but um yeah let's swap to me in drag to do the outro and you will see how this mess hopefully became something pretty since I was not concentrating on my makeup enough for it to look pretty so we'll see how I can turn it out in the outro thanks for watching let's go Luna mode so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me I know the tone and theme was a little bit more somber than usual but sometimes real life just throws shit at you and sometimes it is difficult to deal with and yeah that's kind of the life update that's where I've been that's how things have just been going <sighs> don't worry there'll be plenty more content like I said I'm just planning to go full throttle like challenge myself to improve my drag and the amount that I post and just channel all of the 
I guess like negative emotions in my life into something positive, into being creative again and just try and channel it into a positive and productive way. But um, yeah, if you want to know what's been going on, that's, <laughs> that's, that, that's what's been going on in my life as the last couple of weeks. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.